Hey guys, today I am very excited to begin my monologue of my journey, of my trial, of my tribulation of Aerial Bow in Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. And it really sucked. I started off, as you can see, with the low rank Glavinus. Um, yeah, whatever. It wasn't that bad, of course. Low rank, nothing. This guy eventually became hell once I faced him in G rank and things like that for a bazillion reasons we'll get into later in the video, but... I just basically consider the beginning of the game like uh, my trial prologue because... Um, the beginning of the game is like a joke. It's just a ton of gathering and all that kind of stuff, so... Anyway, got through that and I decided to do an aerial bow run. This is actually my second aerial bow run. The first one I gave up on because I hit like, um, I think it was Astalos, G rank Astalos, and it was just too hard. Playing aerial bow the way I thought it was supposed to be played, which was just vaulting over and over again onto the monster, which is super fun. I really love doing that. It's so amazing. It's so, it's so cool, I guess. It's just, it's, it's just everything I'd want out of Monster Hunter. In my opinion, it's just, it is the most fun aerial style, aerial bow. Just jumping on the monster and shooting them with arrows, a bazillion arrows, and it just looks epic. But um, unfortunately, it does like zero damage for a bazillion different reasons. I might get into a couple of them. It's basically uh, your coatings run out way too fast, your power coatings. You're using only level 2 shots, so they don't do that much damage on their own, so you have to use a lot of different shots um, to do damage. and. Um, you're not hitting weak spots most of the time because your aerial is hard to hit weak spots and jumping in the air. So, those are some of the reasons why aerial bow isn't good at doing damage. And also, it just, all the aerial bows, since it uses level 2 shots, all the level 2 shots suck. So that kind of just sucks. Anyway, I should go back to the actual video here. Here you can see me fighting high rank Volfok. I always call him Valfok, I know he's called some Valstrax now, but I don't care. I knew him as Valfok the first time he came out, he's my favorite monster. And uh, in high rank he's really fun to fight, in G rank he's just hell to fight. Kind of like Glavinus in a way, but just worse, he's just, he's just a monster. But um, of course he's a monster, but you get what I'm saying. So I had a lot of fun fighting him in uh, you know, the high rank. And clearing village and all that kind of stuff. Meanwhile... Once I finished that, I went on to Hunter's Hub. It's, I find it most efficient to complete um, high rank than go back to Hunter's Hub and just work my way up through low rank to high rank because I have all my high rank gear already. Here I'm using the uh, Urugan bow. It's, it was like the best rapid bow I had available. Um, anyway, because aerial bow sucked, I began using bow this way, which is the classical way, which is just shooting the monster. Consider it just like Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate Bow. I really know how to fight Shagru pretty well, so this is actually my easiest fight in, you know, Hunter's Hub because I actually soloed like a level 135 or whatever Shagru Magala back in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate with Bow, which is ridiculously hard because of Boas. Boas really sucked for a long time and then it got made good in generations, but, um,. Unfortunately, I loved aerial bow, so I still use. I'm still using a sucky bow. I played the first time I played the game was adept. Anyway, this is kind of important here. This this the Karkos took um like six tries or seven or eight like t I don't even know how many. This it took so many tries to kill because it just wouldn't die. And eventually, I figured out um because oh, you see that me shooting it in the weak spot right there. That's I have no crit distance there. What am I supposed to do? Right, I have no crit distance, so I'm losing a ton of damage from doing that. So, it was hell doing that, and I had to keep on, it took me all the way down to like the last three minutes to kill him. But that got me got through high rank, which was very hype, and then I got the Diablos Urgent, which was great as well. I suppose, I mean, it was annoying, I, I failed it once, but I completed it a second time. And they got a bazillion different things unlocked, which was really funny to me, so I just kept that in there. Um... Oh yeah, here's G-Rank. G-Rank was a joke. I mean, in terms of just how ridiculous it got. The game got more and more ridiculous as it went on, and more and more frustrating. 
started cursing more and more. Glad you don't hear any of the gameplay here because it got more and more ridiculous. Anyway, I just kept this in here because it was just funny how the Gib Curls made the entire ground tectonic place or whatever shift. It was, um, anyway, whatever. That's just random. I put a couple random clips in here, but most of it is actually important. So here's me fighting a Raytheon, which I had to fight in order to uh, progress to the next rank. Well, this is actually the wrong quest. It makes up the quest. It was supposed to be Queen of the Ruined Pinnacle. So I actually had to fight her twice, and I hated fighting her. She was an absolute B, you know. I did not like fighting this monster. In low rank and high rank, she was fun. She has a really weak head and everything, so it's easy to snipe her with it with my bow, but once I hit G rank, I'm using the Kelby bow in that clip, by the way. Kelby bow is pretty good. Kelby slingshot in this game is really good. MH3U, it was a blast sort of spammy thing, but now it's like a rapid bow, and it's actually good. But, um, here I'm using the heavy bow, the Harbringer battle bow, or the Yekla arc. I really love this sort of bow. It just d gets the job done very well. I mean, heavy shots are really hard to aim, though, sometimes against certain monsters. Like, uh, Devil Cho gave me a ton of trouble. And I really beat the, sh you know, the shite out of him. But it didn't matter, because I just couldn't hit his head. I kept on missing his head. A lot. That's why I kept trying to aim at his back, but he just wouldn't die. But, but anyway, we're getting ahead of the story here. Fighting Rathalos, just destroying Rathalos. I really did get, I guess, good at the game, sort of. Just to make this aerial bow work. It was really annoying. I had to be like a, a god. This, the, this aerial bow is the weakest weapon in Monster Generations Ultimate, no doubt. You come with anything, come with aerial hunting horn or what striker hunting horn or whatever the heck you want to come with, you know, to try to disprove my point. Like, no, aerial bow is the weakest weapon in Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate for a variety of reasons I can get into quickly because we're not into the very important stuff yet. But, um,. I had to fight the Rathalos to get his armor. That's, that's why I'm fighting him. Uh, so whatever, that's just kind of... Just an explanation here. Anyway, and then I had to fight the Gravios and stuff, but I just want to explain why Aerial Bow is the weakest weapon in MHGU. First of all, um, I talked about everything about why it's weak when it comes to the coatings and all that kind of stuff. Your damage just drops off a ton once you run out of coatings. You're not hitting any weak spots. Um, you have to... You're, an, you're a gunner jumping into the monster's face with flimsy defenses so if you mess up you constantly have to heal I got really good at the game but I still got hit every once in a while and I had to heal because I'm at like 20% HP I have to heal while I was getting killed by a tap I had to dodge it look like you see this I had to if you get hit by those things I literally die in one hit I had to like almost become like a speedrunner and I had to roll through the I had to roll through roars and things like that it's hilarious and I used every single strategy in the book the weapon just sucks, okay, um, I'm using the weapon like a regular bow because using it the regular way really sucks in basically every instance because it's just better to just keep on sniping a monster in the head over and over because it, because, because the coatings run out way too fast when you're using aerial bow. They run out like, I, I didn't even know, like bullets or something. It's ridiculous. And then you have no damage and you have to just try to kill the monster with no damage while jumping into its face with zero defense. The aerial roll kind of sucks. It's kind of good and it kind of sucks at the same time. So it's kind of laggy and slow. It, it goes, it travels a far distance, which is good, and you can kind of dodge roars easily with it and jump over attacks, the sort of. But overall, it kind of sucks. Overall, I prefer the regular roll a ton. This is G rank Valfok. I had to uh, fight it. I mean, I think it was like three times and. I just couldn't fight it, like because I, it was just too dangerous. The, air, the aerial roll was too risky. Eventually, I managed to repel it. I was at um, th two out of three feints. I know it flashed by really fast there, but it was I was at two out of three feints. Had like, you know, I ran it all the way down to the repel, but I had to repel it because I couldn't kill it. It was just I literally, I literally just ran away and used I used flash bombs and ran away whenever it got mad because I just couldn't handle it. At, wow, but I still managed to beat it, so it works out. This is Diablos, he was really annoying. Once so I got onto, I think this is G4. Got onto G4, I had to be in that uh, Valfok, and... Look at this, this is the kind of stuff I had to deal with. Like, what the heck is that? But Rajang was a lot easier. He was just, you know... I I faced like a bazillion Rajang. I was an MH4U sort of dude. 
That's when I first got into Monster Hunter and I was really good at fighting. I fought this thing with bow. But bow sucked in MH4 and the Seradios bow was good because it was good. But like the bow overall just sucked. So I had one pretty good bow and everything just sucked. And anyway, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here. So I beat, I beat up the uh, Rajang, no problem. Move on to Tigrex. I think I got a, cl a clip out of order here, or whatever. It's gonna be funny anyway. The Tigrex is so annoying. It was so frustrating. It was like kind of like the Vol Fock where I just had to keep on. Look at that slag top getting in the way there. Then I panic dodged here because I thought he was gonna run again. I died. I think there's like a conspiracy of these small monsters against me, you'll see. This is just the Rajang. Um, I got it in the wrong order here. Whatever. Anyhow. So let's get back to Tigrex. So Rajang was easy. I fought him a million times in MH4U. He's one of the easiest monsters for me to fight. His, basically his whole body's a weak spot and everything, so it's no problem. But Tigrex on the other hand is just hell. <laughs> like what is this thing? I, I don't even I, I like it's like it's like he was designed for adept or something. If you're not using adept, you just suck. Or something or like a blade master weapon or like a, a shield or something. I remember I used to love guard pointing this guy with charge blade back in MH4U. But now things have changed because I'm not using charge blade anymore because I'm a bow addict. I discovered the joy of bow and I, it was like some kind of drug. I couldn't put it down. I couldn't stop using bow. Next thing I know. I'm here suffering, trying to fight this freak, force use flash bombs to kill him. You know, by doing this kind of cheese here, you can see. Hit him in, his head is super weak, so I just kept on trying to do this over and over, but... Ran out of flash bombs, and he they started lasting like only like a uh, half a second, so... I eventually just started, ha I started having to just run away. So, yeah. As you can see here, this is an example of it. I'm literally running out of the area to try to fight him and then come back to fight him because I couldn't handle him in his rage. I really used a lot of cheesy stuff. It, was, it wasn't it was a classical monster hunter. It was just like kind of survival. I was playing survival mode with Aerial Bow. So, wow. I don't know how I made it through all that, but I somehow did. And it did get pretty intense at times. Like, I, as you can see, when I got down to like one faint against like a bazillion monsters. Nakarkos, um, I believe I got it down to one fate against, I mean I got a, a, several more coming up to here too, so it's not going to be too much of a, an issue. And I'm just going to show you, I'm just going to show you the chaos of the next clip and let it speak for itself. Essentially, I had to fight a Gravios and an a Glavinus in the same quest. It was very unpleasant. Both monsters just refused to die. They came into the same area over and over. I even I, I used like all my dung bombs up. They refused to die. I wailed on them with my bow. I rained. I rained on them. You see, I have haste rain on. I I, I fury rained on them. I rained on them like I was some kind of. I don't know, bow god, just kept on smashing. I noticed his back is a weak spot. I mean, I couldn't hit his head. I realized that with Devil Choice, kind of like Devil Choice, same body type, so. Kept on raining, 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 raining arrows on his back. And it it didn't matter. He basically never died until like 30 minutes into the quest. I had like 20 minutes to kill Bravios, who just, uh. I rained hits on his back too, because his back was apparently his weakest spot to hit, aside from his belly, which is impossible with heavy ball basically so rip anyhow I had only this is this is a risky quest I only had to, I had only uh one defeat left and I had only three minutes left in the quest too so it wasn't fun it was very stressful if he just if he had just cr limped away from the trap like this happened to me many times before I would have been done for it would have been over I, I literally would have I had no traps left I only that one pitfall trap if he just limped away anyway I went on to Ignactor, who is my worst enemy, basically. So... Yeah, that was not fun. I hate him so much, it's not even funny. 
um, in that quest the double Duram Durambaros and Agnactor and the fence and everything was shitty. I did, after that I unlocked Ahtalka, whatever, however it's pronounced, but unfortunately my bow did not work against it. I just couldn't do damage to it with my heavy bow. So the funny ironic thing is for the last quest in the game I actually went back to classical aerial bow like my first aerial bow run with just the vault spam because like remember with the Nakarkos how I couldn't hit its weak spot like with crit distance? Well aerial bow can funnily enough so I ended up using aerial bow. I, I had to farm a bazillion bugs and stuff to form forge this thunder aerial bow with a lot of element because aerial bow is only usable with element basically because it has a lot of different you know you hit a lot but you run out of all your coding and stuff, so you basically have to use element if you're gonna use aerial bow. Anyway, an Ahtel Ka happens to be very weak to element fortunately, so I used that, but it really sucked fighting it because I kept him falling off because of, look you can see this kind of BS happening here. Anyhow, kept him falling off, kept on uh just struggling to once I fell off it was really hard to get back on because it, like even though I got all the blisters and stuff, it was really hard to get back on. Anyway, here I'm down to one minute and one faint. And this is like the fifth time or eighth time. I don't even know how many times I fought this guy. So I was, I was really desperate here. Fortunately for me, it turned out I, I leapt off the couch and, you know, celebrated. It, was, it took so much time to beat him. I ended up having to use Pierce a ton instead of the aerial bow because Pierce got to his weak spots better. But in the end... I made it work somehow. You can see my set there: power coding plus two, evade distance, and uh, I think it's pellet up. Yeah, yeah, that was hilarious. Hilariously difficult that is. It was torture actually fighting this guy, but I use a positive mindset. Without that, I wouldn't be. Look at that! Look at that! 145. Yeah. Without that, I wouldn't be able to survive aerial bow. It is the most rage-inducing weapon. So yes, you can solo. Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate with Aerial Bow. You just, have to, you just have to be very determined. You can see my, uh... Everything's Aerial Bow. Except for that one arena quest I did, which doesn't count. And, uh... I did it. So, congrats to me. And I'm moving on. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace out, guys.